Welcome to the More Podcast with Ava and Najee, where we are manifesting original rich bitch experiences. Each week, we bring you travel reviews, wellness advice, and general millennial musings with a level of refinement. What level? It fucking depends. Hi. Hey. How are you? I am feeling so good. So, so good. Um, Yeah, I'm here. I'm alive. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm a little hot, but it's fine. Um, (laughs) And, you know, the (laughs) conference I've been working on for work is happening next week. So, Mm. you know, once I wrap that up, I can focus on things that I actually really care about. So I'm really excited about that. Okay. So you're feeling good going into this conference next week. So far, so good. I mean, it'll be over in, let's see, eight days time. So it is what it is. Listen, I'm really looking forward to like spending my 4 p.m. Monday through Friday watching Love Island. So that's what I'm excited to get to. Love Island. Is that live? Like you're going to watch it at 4 p.m. because it's live TV? Yeah. So Love Island actually takes place in the UK. This is the UK series. So it comes on 9 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, which is what, 4 (laughs) p.m. Eastern. So yeah. And I have this little like website that I watch international shows on um, and it works. I just, you know, I can't get enough of my trash TV. So. (laughs) Okay. I feel like we'll be hearing updates about Love Island. Uh, here and there <laughs> here and there occasionally and there. how are you my love I'm good I'm just recovering well I'm actually really tired um I could use about three more days of sleep as you know I did not sleep well over the weekend but that's okay because I got home to my CBD melatonin gummies and I've been snoozing hard. Mm, I love that. Love the CBD. I do have a CBD story, a couple, another conversation for another time, but definitely (laughs) worth (laughs) the discussion because it is funny. And Uh, I just always felt bad that you didn't sleep that well this weekend. We had a really great weekend. It's okay. It wasn't your fault. I was just, you know, I was project managing the weekend, frankly, and I was in fight or flight mode. Mm, well my, my nervous system was like maxed well now that it's over what happened? why don't we tell me how you feel we talk it. about it like, I... so i'm so excited that this is our first travel review episode yay and yay we hope to do these once a month and so what mm-hmm. better place to start obviously than my hometown of minneapolis Yes. You know, I love Minneapolis. This is my third time there. I've been in Minneapolis more than I've been to the state of Texas. So I must love it up there. (laughs) I know. And I feel like the three times you've been here, they've all been like kind of different types of trips. So that's kind of fun too. One thing I can say that all three trips have in common is that the weather has been absolutely perfect which isn't the case during the winter time. <laughs> Honestly, yes. And that's that was very strategic whether you realize it or not. <laughs> <laughs> it's like which everyone's like, "Yeah, you should come visit me. Come visit me between the months of June and October. You'll love it." <laughs> well, I mean, it's a typical Midwest thing. You know, it gets super cold up there during the winter yeah. times, but during kind of like those summers and springs, it's like, uh chef's kiss and this time honestly was no different loved it it is I mean it's honestly why people live here like I could not live here if it was winter 24 7 yeah I guess that's why a lot of people have vacation homes elsewhere to get away from that winter time true enter the snowbirds um (laughs) that's on the manifestation list oh second house definitely definitely second house a vacation home if you will Oh my gosh. I feel like we did so much on this quick weekend trip to Minneapolis. Like it was insane. Mm -hmm. It was super, super busy, but honestly, that's one way I do like to travel. I like quick and very productive trips with amazing people in beautiful locations. 
beautiful locations, amazing people, good vibes, great food, a little bit of productivity. I mean, I would have liked a little more relaxation, but that's my own fault because I made the itinerary. <laughs> yes, yes, you did. And you did an amazing job, sweetie, keeping us on track because I mean, it was a hard job, but someone had to do it. And shout out to you. We got everything done. Oh my gosh. Someone had to do it. However, there will not be an itinerary for every single trip. We just had a lot of things that we needed to get done for the podcast. So many things, so little time. And luckily we did everything, but we started off with a pickup from the airport by yeah. my dear friend, Ava. Thank you so much by, oh, for yes. playing Fantasy by Mariah Carey <laughs> as I entered the car. Because honestly, <laughs> as you recall, me trying to get to Minneapolis that morning was a little tumultuous, but yes. we figured it out. We got it together. A little um, missed flight, a second flight. I figured I just had to set the tone, <laughs> set the mood, play your favorite song, and we're good. Yeah, I'm a little traumatized by that. But that Mariah Carey made everything <laughs> so much better. So yeah, good to go. Good to go. Well, let's just start from the beginning because I feel like that's the easiest way to recap the weekend because there was honestly so much going on. Friday, mm -hmm. picked you up. Mm -hmm. We jetted straight over to the Mall of America mm -hmm. and that was a lot of fun because we spent the whole day shopping, dining, shopping some more. We had a wardrobe styling for our photo shoot. I mean, so many fun things. And the Mall of America is kind of a crazy place. Like I remember for me, it's a really nostalgic place because the Mall of America is kind of special. Like you'd mm -hmm. go there to celebrate a birthday as a kid, mm -hmm. or you'd go there maybe to buy like your prom dress. And it's not to say you can't go to the mall whenever you want, but it's so big and so massive. And it's really like, you know, there's literally an amusement park inside. Like it's not a normal mall. It's a cool mall, <laughs> but it's really overwhelming in that sense. So I just remember, did I ever tell you the time, like about their grand opening? No. Okay. So the mall opened. I was a little, little two-year-old type. My mom took me to one of the opening events, which was, <laughs> you're laughing. My mom <laughs> took me to one of the opening events, which was an autograph signing with supermodel extraordinaire, Christy Turlington. Ooh. And I only remember this because I have a photo of it and it actually made the local newspaper. So there's this cute little picture. My mom's like lifting me up onto the autograph table and we're like both looking or meeting the model and they're like, snap. And um, I could probably find it. It's pretty cute. Oh, super cute story, but I'm literally inconsolable after I'm not a regular mall. I'm a cool mall. <laughs> like I'm literally dying. <laughs> like I almost want them to use that in like all their marketing moving forward. <laughs> oh my gosh. We could do, yeah, we could do some bits for their 30th, their 30th birthday party where we just, some voice work. Hopefully I get an invite. <laughs> oh my God. So funny. Yes. They're a cool mall. Don't you think? I think it's amazing. I mean, the first time I went to Mall of America was a couple years ago. I think this was on my, I think this was on my first trip to Minneapolis. If it wasn't my first, my second. And I mean, they had me at the amusement park because <laughs> what more has an amusement park with like most four roller coasters? That's like weird in a super cool way. Um, I also remember going like to SeaWorld that first time and seeing like the fish and it was like a mini aquarium in there. I was just like, what is going on in here? <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Premium I entertainment. Super cool. Oh, also when you told me that, you know, Google Maps like worked inside the mall. Yeah. <laughs> And it actually did. I was just, listen, Google Maps is like my savior when it comes to getting anywhere. And it was my savior when it came to getting anywhere inside that mall. So, I mean, yeah. I appreciate that. Because it's the thing, like there are literally over 500 stores in the mall. It is the largest mall in the United States. And so whenever I'm trying to find a specific store, I actually can't find it. If I'm just, you know, browsing, walking, it's like, oh, there's the store I've always been looking for. 
So hence enter the Google maps because literally, I think we, we walked like six miles inside of the mall on Friday. Mm, that's a lot. It is. I mean, I wish I could say I walked six miles every day, but I honestly don't. I mean, when we were comparing our steps day to day in our Apple little health app, we clearly could see the difference. And that day was a bunch of walking. I know. I think the best part about it is that we actually got to partner with the mall on our looks for our pod cover art, which is Mm. so exciting because, you know, I think we talked about this. It's like, Mm -hmm. we've been wearing our our pandemic uniforms for two years. We need some cute clothes. However, shopping itself is very overwhelming for me. So I was beyond thrilled to call up our friend, Elise at MOA style. And she, she literally, she was a lifesaver first off. Yes. But she pulled uh, so many cute looks for us. You looked great. I looked great. We looked great together. And I just felt like that was really a rich bitch experience that I would like to duplicate on the regular. Yeah, I feel like getting styled is definitely something that happened to manifest. And shout out to Elise for being a part of that journey because shopping, especially for photo shoots, gets me so nervous and so scared um so she was able to really kind of start what that conversation or what those looks kind of started to look like Mm -hmm. um after you know pull together a few move boards to kind of help guide her so that was super great um and I just I love the entire experience that was definitely a rich bitch experience and Elise is just an amazing person a vibe And I'm just really happy to have met her, you know? Yeah. I mean, mean, you know, amazing people. So I, I appreciate that. That's my girl. I know. So, and I think too, like the thing that's interesting is there are two of us. (laughs) So it's like, I could have picked, you know, maybe a look on my own, but then it's like, well, how do we look together? Like, how does your fit go with my fit? And I think that was another big piece of it that was kind of new to me with the whole experience. It's like, oh, there's other people to think about here. Yeah, that whole workshopping experience when kind of like just comparing the outfits, seeing how we felt, because it did take a couple of times where, okay, we like one outfit or maybe we like both outfits. And then like, and then we just decided we didn't like them together. So just kind of (laughs) shifting and switching out pieces to make it work. Um, It was actually kind of fun, to be honest. It was kind of fun. It was eye-opening experience too. It was so fun. Um, and then, okay, what did we do after we shopped? So we had some dinner. We did, we did. We went to um, a restaurant called Crave in the mall. We had some drinks and some pretty good sushi because honestly, at that point, it's been, it's already been a long day and we were only halfway done. <laughs> so we were hungry and we just definitely needed a break before we had to do some more shopping. I know. What a, what a pain. We had to shop all day long. We were just so <laughs> famished, so exhausted. Gosh. We needed sushi, darling. <laughs> First world problems. But honestly, this is the rich bitch experiences that we're looking for. <laughs> like, what keep can I them say? Rolling. <laughs> just keep it going. Because this is my lifestyle. This is the lifestyle I'm trying to aspire to. Shopping, God, shopping, shopping. Oh, I'm so tired. Let's have a drink. Shopping, shopping, shopping. Well, then, you know, to take this to the next level, we Mm -hmm. actually made a staycation out of it. So we stayed at a hotel at the mall, which I think is super fun because it was literally connected via a skyway, which is what us locals love to use to not expose our skin to the elements in the wintertime. But it basically just connects the buildings indoors. Like you don't even have to go outside. So from the hotel to the mall, from the mall to the hotel, like it's, it's a smooth transition. Yeah. It made it super convenient that the Radisson Blue Mall of America is actually attached to the Mall of America. So just super easy access, even if we wanted to run out and get something from the mall really quick, whether it be coffee or a snack or anything else like that. Um, But super, super convenient. Very, very nice rooms. I will say, I thought the rooms were spacious. I thought it was gorgeous. Um, and it definitely worked for, you know, what we were there for, which was basically the shop. 
Exactly. And it's so cute because it's kind of Radisson Blue is like a full circle moment for us because that's how we met. I remember. I remember. I remember those years of my life. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> what a wondrous time. But honestly, it was great to kind of reconnect. Um, it was great that this Radisson Blue Mall of America was kind of the um, catalyst for us reconnecting in person. Yeah. After quite some time. And it also kind of felt like revisiting an old friend um, because, I mean, Radisson Blue is a really, really big part of our lives for a number of years. And mm -hmm. it's part of the reason why we're here today having a conversation about it. So it's so it's true. Full circle. We love mm -hmm. a full circle moment. Love it. Uh, okay. Anything else? What do we do Saturday? Um, on Saturday, we started with brunch. Oh, yes. We started with brunch um, at Martina, right. which is one of your favorite restaurants, right? Exactly. So we did move. I know technically the Mall of America is not in Minneapolis. It is a few minutes from the airport, um, which is great. And it's about, I don't know, 15 minutes outside of the city proper. So yes, we made our way from the mall to Martina in South Minneapolis, which is my favorite restaurant. I think God, they've probably been open now like three years, maybe, mm. maybe pushing four, which kind of okay. sounds crazy. That's pretty good. But it's, well, yeah, I mean, I think it'll be around for quite a while, but yeah. it is so good. It's like the spot that I like to go for. It's like anyone's birthday. I'm like, oh, where do you think you'd like to dine for your birthday? And they're like, oh, you know, X, Y, Z. And I'm like, I think you would really like to go to Martina. Like, I think you're <laughs> wrong about where you want to go for your birthday. Let me fix that. Yes, I actually, <laughs> yes. Speaking from experience. That I mean, just you have with my really mom. great restaurant <laughs> taste. Like, so you could change my mind about restaurants any day. <laughs> You know, I appreciate that. I do think it's one of my finer skills when it comes to traveling. I feel like I have a really, even if I haven't been, I can get a really good read on if a restaurant's going to be good or if it's just going to be like some weird fucking shitty chain vibes, like mm -hmm. based off of all I really need to see is the, maybe like three pictures on Google and I can tell you instantly. Hmm. Now it's that's magic. quite the skill. It's basically a superpower. <laughs> wow. It's my superpower. It's my contribution here. Well, at this point, like I will never, if I ever doubt it, your restaurant taste, I will never doubt your restaurant taste ever again because Martina was amazing. Front to back, side to side, food, drinks, location, ambiance. And it, the weather was gorgeous. So it just really elevated my mood. You did it's that. true. It's true. We sat outside <laughs> and wasn't it, you said it was your favorite cocktail, right? Cause you did a little cocktail tour of all the spots. Oh yes. Every restaurant we went to, I did have a cocktail and honestly, Martina's <laughs> restaurant, Martina's um, citrus cocktail was definitely one of my favorites. It was strong because I like to mm. taste my liquor. Mm -hmm. It was refreshing because it was a citrus based drink with um, kind of like hints of lemon and orange. Mm -hmm. And, um, I mean, it was just the perfect way to start my day. <laughs> I run. Start your day. <laughs> Judge yes. your mother. Judge your mother. <laughs> <laughs> like it's five o'clock somewhere. It, you were on vacation. I know. I know. What were the, um, what were the potato snacks that we started with? The churro fries. Oh gosh. I Basically, love those I know. so much. They're so good. And you were skeptical about those, but I'm like, I was so skeptical. We plan the meal around the potato churro side. It's like, we want the potato churros. So we're going to order the burgers. And they're basically like a twice baked potato, like refried. And yeah, they come with you... a spicy mayo. They come with a ketchup. Mm-hmm. And it's just, there's, I mean, you could have a whole meal with the potato churros. Um, yeah, it was super good. When you described it as initially as a twice baked potato, I'm not going to lie. I had no clue what that was. <laughs> twice fried. Twice Wait, baked potato, what? but then fried. But then fried. Yes. Honestly, as you can tell, I was confused by that entire description. <laughs> 
So I was like, what the hell does she have me eating? And this is going to be some nasty shit. No, it was amazing. No, please. <laughs> it almost tasted like a potato cake. Yes, I think there you go. Potato cake that's kind of like lightly fried mm-hmm. in a stick form, and <laughs> that's what it sounded. That's what it tasted <laughs> like. So I'm ready for that. That is on the list next time I come. Okay. Ooh, it already made it back on top of your list. Oh, oh yeah, As definitely. Should. As it Listen, should. Listen, best drink and probably best appetizer. There we go. Mm-hmm. We're handing out awards. Absolutely. Trophies. Uh, the thing that's nice about Martina is, well, one, I love the neighborhood. It's super cute. It's called Linden Hills. And it two, it's right next to the lakes. So the chain of lakes, um, Lake Harriet, Rose Garden nearby, um, mm. where, which is where we went afterwards. We got a little nature in. But honestly, the Lake Harriet Rose Garden has to be my very favorite place in the whole city and I know that the roses weren't blooming yet but if you can just imagine all of those green leafy plants (laughs) with multiple roses popping out of them Mm. it is the most beautiful experience and the thing that is really special about roses is that they have a higher vibration than crystals they have mm. the highest vibration of, I think, any plant. And you literally, I think I told you this, I'm like last summer, I smelled this one rose. It was called a Tiffany rose. And I swear to God, I was high. It was like candy to my veins. I'm talking about a flower, but I'm serious. But it has uh, to be because they're just so high vibe. Yeah probably i that's definitely some that's an experience i am definitely interested in having so <laughs> next time <laughs> okay add that to the list for next time uh, <laughs> i'm like uh rose that'll get you high sign me up high on life high on nature well yeah that too um if you haven't smelled a rose that literally made you be like wow what is this thing called life that's an experience you need to have yeah, I can't say I've had that experience, even though I've smelled some lovely, lovely flowers before. Um, but I can tell you being out in the nature areas in Minneapolis, especially around the lakes and the parks, definitely give me everything I need from just kind of like a wellness perspective. Mm-hmm. I'm one person mm-hmm. that really does enjoy being like out in nature, out in fresh air, you know, smelling fresh water um and people watching obviously Mm -hmm. um and Minneapolis definitely has a lot of that I think that's probably one thing that kind of draws me to the city so much Mm -hmm. because it does just feel very natural and very clean unlike other American cities yes well there's basically like a glacial melt once a year like (laughs) winter comes in everything dies everything freezes and then it melts and everything old is washed away And there's like a full like rejuvenation cycle of rebirth once a year. So it is very clean. I do love that. I love it. It's good to hear it. Like, you know, it's like, that's my city. Like I know those things, but I don't remember those things until maybe I go away and come back or I get to see it through your eyes. And I think that's really cool. That's the fun thing about travel. It definitely puts life into perspective in a lot of different ways. Yeah. And one more thing about Lake Harriet and the Rose Garden. Yes. It inspired the name of my two future dogs. Oh, yes. What were they named? Rocket and Bagel. Bagel. Mm Mm-hmm. Aren't those some really cute dog names? (laughs) Bagel Rocket? That sounds Rocket Bagel? Rocket Bagel. Just saying. Rocket and Bagel. Okay. what kind of dogs are they gonna be you know someone asked me that question when I shared this information with them and I'm not really sure but they're gonna be super cute and super fun whenever I get the dogs um okay. later in the future much later well that's cute for you we put that on your manifestation list Minneapolis did that so there we go yeah. there we go <laughs> well Saturday was our eating day so we continued obviously 
um, eating through the city. And I wish we could have gone. I mean, there's so many good places. The thing about the thing that I try to tell my people who have never been here Mm -hmm. is that Minneapolis is a really great food city. Like you get world-class food with Midwest prices. Mm. So it feels like you really hit the jackpot because sure, is it much smaller than an East Coast or West Coast city? Yes, obviously. However, it's a very wholesome place. So we get a lot of great chefs that have like lived life five times over and they actually come here to like start families or things like this, or maybe they're from here. And then they start fantastic restaurants in Minneapolis and we all get to benefit. Mm-hmm. That's why the food is so good. Never knew that. That's my theory, at least. I mean, it's been on the money so far. I haven't you. I mean, I haven't eaten at a bad restaurant um, in Minneapolis, thanks to you and your superpower, obviously. Yes. Well, okay, where do we go? So we went to Maya, which is brand, brand new. Mm-hmm. We had, we didn't get to eat there, but we had a, a drink at the bar, which was nice. It was a nice drink. You know, it wasn't as strong as I'd like. As <laughs> I told you guys earlier, I like to taste my liquor, but it was good. And I thought the vibe was kind of nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I love the vibe. The ambiance was great. It's new, so everything's clean, which is always nice. Also, the servers seem a little bit more chipper and excited about, you know, the new restaurants. So that vibe and that buzz was definitely permeated throughout, which is always nice. I love when people are excited about what they're doing. That's true. It was like very good energy. Mm-hmm, which matters. Oh, yes. Obviously. I mean, <laughs> we're smelling roses over here. Yes, high off life. <laughs> but then, so, okay, after that, we went to dinner, which I know you had been looking forward to for a very long time because, <laughs> um, oh God. can we just call you like a stan? Like you are a Barla Grassa stan. I mean, I, it, it's giving fiend levels at this point. Like it almost feels like a fix. I'm not going to lie. Barla Grassa is like, Barla Grasso is that bitch. I'm sorry. Like at this point, I'm already trying to see like, when can I go back and get some more, you know? Would you literally, would you say you love it that much that you would pop in for a meal? That is an original rich bitch experience that I am manifesting. Okay. Taking flights to eat at a particular restaurant or have a particular meal and then fly right back home. Mm, I love that. So Bar La Grassa, Italian restaurant in mm-hmm. the North Loop of Minneapolis. Um, it's a staple. It's delicious. I think you have been there all three times you visited, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. So do you have a favorite dish by now? I mean, yes. let's hear it. Um, uh, it was probably the dish I had the other night when I was there. Because when I ate it, I started to have like (laughs) flashbacks and it felt like deja vu a little bit. I was like, I think I had this (laughs) last time and I felt the exact same way. Like I wanted to order two more servings to go and eat back at the hotel. Mm -hmm. So I would probably say um, it was some penne pasta dish with like shrimp and basil, right? I think that was it. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember the exact name, but honestly... Like I told you earlier, it's giving fiend levels. I'm not exactly proud of that, but here we are. I don't know what to say. (laughs) And I got a really cute picture of you with the sign. So I feel like maybe that will hold you over until next time. Yes, maybe looking at that picture will help me imagine the taste as I start salivating over that dish and when I can have it again. Oh my God. Well, okay, that was a wrap on our Saturday night because we had to look cute on Sunday morning for our more podcast photo shoot for the cover art. Woo, let me tell you, I was really (laughs) nervous about that photo shoot for a very long time. (laughs) Um, Just because I had never done like an official photo shoot before. Um, But honestly, it was such an easy experience. 
and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad. So did you look at, we already got the photos back. Have you seen them? I did see them. They look really nice. They're they look so really, good. really nice. Yes, that mock-up you sent me, I was like, oh, this is kind of cute. Wow. I think that's the final version, but we'll talk about it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Trust me. Oh, gosh. Okay. Trust me. All right. I know. I'm super excited about how everything turned out. And honestly, I was nervous because in a different world, I would have never planned a photo shoot for a Sunday morning after two days of like dining, whining, all the things, because I probably would have indulged a little bit more had I not known I couldn't be like royally sushi faced, puffy, bloated, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera on Sunday. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Somehow, somehow we lucked out because shoot was on Sunday. And I kid you not on Monday, I got my like monthly, like hormonal chin pimple. So oh. I dodged a bullet and I could not have planned that part better myself. You said it was a monthly thing. Yeah. Besides? Once a month, us okay. ladies, we get some like hormonal acne and it's not oh, cute. Got you. Gotcha. 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 I was going to blame all the sugar. Um, <laughs> hey, 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 that we had over the weekend. What sugar? What sugar? List. Mm hmm. Um, oh gosh, what is that place <laughs> that we went to? Um, Candyland. Yeah. Candyland. Candyland. <laughs> Anyways, I love sugar. Oh, that gosh. is my, that is one thing that I really have to ration. We went sugar. to the bun place too, and that was very sugary. Oh, yes. Delicious, okay. but really sugary. So Sunday we had our photo shoot um, with Zoe and she was fabulous. And we look so cute. Go and comment when you see the cover art. Tell us you agree, please. <laughs> <laughs> love Zoe. Love the experience. Love her studio. I know, um, so she's super fun. dope. Super dope. Love. And then, of course, we had to hit one more spot on your way out. So Isles Bun and Coffee, Puppy Dog Tales, you are welcome. You are welcome, mm. my friends. <laughs> it was just so, so good. good. It was so good. I, I, the, the smell was there. Um, again, the vibes were on point. I remember when we were standing in line and the lady had her dog off the leash. Um, the dog was like very kind of like well-trained because whenever mom would be like, whatever the dog's name was. I'm like, wow. And Ralph would be like, huh? <laughs> I know there was a lady, there was a lady with a very well-trained off-leash dog, but it was kind of strange to have it in a restaurant. However, the puppy dog tails. So it's like a cinnamon bun, but smaller. And it's like a twist. So you get the cinnamon, but you don't have as much breading. And then it has a bunch of icing on top. And prior to 2020, they used to have the icing just like out on the counter and you could actually help yourself. So you could put as much icing on them as you wanted. Mm. Now they do it behind the counter. However, they are still very generous with the icing. And so this mm. is, you know, where I have to flex because those are not gluten-free. I try to maintain a gluten-free diet 85% of the time. Mm, so bad. knowing that we are post photo shoot, I'm like, I'm going in for the gluten because these are worth it. There are some things in life that are simply just not worth it. Either they don't taste good. You know what I mean? Like they're just not good. If I'm going to splurge on something that's gluttonous, I want it to be fucking delicious. And the puppy dog tails at Isles Bun mm -hmm. are that. I mean, I ordered three, so, and I <laughs> ate them all. So that's, that should True. tell you something. Um, they were really good. I was a little hesitant at first, um, but after smelling them, looking at them, and then tasting them, yeah, the three just disappeared in my mouth. So Oof. it was really, really delicious in a great it. way <laughs> to kind of end my trip at Min in Minneapolis. I know. And it was so much fun. It was so fun to have you here. Um, should we give it like a rating? Should we give like a out of 10? Like what was the weekend for you? The weekend out of 10? 
Um, I would say easily a 9.7. Oh, okay. A yeah. 9.7 out of 10. Yeah. We're setting the bar really high for these travel reviews. I mean, we're only knocking off 0.3 because I didn't get my daily nap in, but that's okay. Oh my, I would argue that you did, but okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I saw it. I saw it. Um, I'm just jealous that I can't nap, honestly. Okay, I will give it, if you're giving it a 9.7, then I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 because it's the hometown rating. Got to do it. Top notch. Um, and that, yeah, that really sets the bar high for all these other yeah. cities. Honestly, like I said, I think Minneapolis is a world-class city, um, to be honest. And I think it doesn't get enough shine in the Midwest as like a Chicago and I think mm. people are missing out so I'm glad we're able to kind of like talk about it and now that I've been there three times I'm able to like talk to my friends about it yeah. and share the amazing times I've had with it like even my last time I brought one of my friends so I'm yeah. looking forward to like having another trip like that when I'm bringing a friend or two just to kind of explore the city um, and eat at some amazing restaurants and have some really kind of great nature experiences yeah uh, what was it? June through October. Please be our <laughs> guest. A <laughs> hundred days of summer. Go. Oh my God. Yeah. So Mall of America staycation. It's a vibe. Martina restaurant. It's a vibe. The lakes. Mm -hmm. It's a vibe. Downtown. So many good places. Um, and yeah, next time you just have to like, yes, we can keep our La Grasa and Martina. Yes as stops but now we have to add in new ones too because there are seriously so many good places to eat and drink and more activities that we could do when we have a little less work scheduled and a little mm -hmm. more free time scheduled well you know i'm down for all the adventures um anything and any suggestion that you have i'm going to be more than willing to try it especially in minneapolis because you haven't steered me wrong yet so i'm just excited for all the other trips that we'll be embarking on and all the other adventures that will come from them so fun i cannot wait and i feel like we should do a little solicitation from our listeners in terms of cities so we want to do this once a month uh, we would love to hear your recommendations for cities that you want us to experience and review on the pod. Um, or if it's your city, you want to give us some tips, some hints, some local insider info. Mm -hmm. um, we are more than happy to collect that. Absolutely. Always looking for new suggestions. So let us know what you think. Otherwise... Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed today's episode, rate and review us wherever you listen to your favorite podcast and tune in every Wednesday to hear the things that make us more us and discover a thing or two that make you more you. Bye. Bye.